Free at last. After a year in detention, the German journalist Denis Yücel has been released from prison in Turkey. But many others have not been so lucky. Amnesty International's report describes a devastating human rights situation, not just in Turkey, but in many countries around the world. We are concerned to see that individual governments are not just blatantly flouting international and national human rights standards, but also support an alternative approach that builds on national unilateralism, of violation of international legal obligations and of the notion of might makes right. Governments are especially targeting those who advocate freedom and human rights. While in 2016 about 280 human rights defenders were murdered across the world, one year later the number was over 300. In Colombia alone, more than 100 people paid with their lives for their human rights activism. But there is also a glimmer of hope. In many countries, more and more civilians are defending themselves against state repression. For example, in Poland in the summer of 2017, thousands of people demonstrated against proposed limits on the constitutional court's authority. In spite of the increasing encroachment on the freedoms of opinion and assembly in many countries, there are active civil society groups and human rights defenders. And now it is important that the community of nations and many governments support these people. Until now, that has just been an idealistic dream, and the release of Denis Yücel an exception. In Turkey alone, more than 100 journalists remain in jail.